Okay, your video, I'm going to show you right now how to check the timing on your video. For this project, the video cannot be any shorter than one minute, no longer than four minutes. Each one of these slides should be no less than three seconds, no more than four seconds on average. The reason is, what I've noticed is, anything that's below three seconds is too fast. People feel like they're not able to see what you're actually presenting to them. Anything more than four seconds, it's too slow. And I'll tell you, they start getting bored of your video. So you keep it somewhere. You pick a number between three and four, you're okay. Now, how do you know what the timing is? Well, look, it gives the time of, see when I click on this, three seconds. I come to this one, I don't even have to click when I go over. So each one of these right now is already three seconds, okay? Even the transitions are taking up time. And all of that added together, oops, all of that added together, look, when I click right here, at that moment in time on the timeline, we're at 41 seconds. The second number is telling us how long the entire video is. I'm over by 19 seconds now, so I'm either going to have to throw away a couple of photos, which I will, but another trick is, so here I'm at three, and watch when I go to the very end, right about here, see how it's, I'm going to click, see how it's at 417, I come to the end, click, and it's at 419, so that's how you figure out. Then you see this one's three seconds. So how do you get it down in time? Or you get it up in time? One is you come ahead and you click on, let's say this one right here. So one is just get rid of photos. So I'm going to come here and I'm going through. I have a lot of these family photos. Let's see what else I have. So I'm going through on the family ones. There's family. That's family, family. And, you know, I guess I don't need... I'm going to get rid of this one right here, okay? So I'm going to get rid of this one, delete. So right there I brought it down to 416. I'm going to have to go through and get rid of more, but also, you know these titles? You can bring down the time on a title. And what you do is, I'm going to click on, there's my title, I'm going to come up here, and I can bring it to three, two seconds. So I click on title, whichever one I want to reduce, and then I come up here, I click on this I for information, and then you'll see duration. I'm going to take this and go to 2.0, okay? Return. Then I'm going to come to and see how it's at two seconds now. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to click right there. I'm going to come up here, see how it's at three seconds. I'm going to go 2.0. Now that's going to save me. What's this one at? Why is that at 3.5? So I'm going to go 2.0. Now this is going to save me probably about five, six seconds. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep throwing out. And let's say if you needed more time, this is the same way that you would add time. And so here too. So outside of this, I'm somewhat limited. But I'm going to go through and I will get it uh, the time down beneath four. And I'm most likely going to have to do it by... Uh, uh, taking out some photos, but by changing the time uh, also is able, and I'm showing you my trick on changing the time. And so now you go and you figure out if it works for you, your timing. Uh, that's it. I'm going to keep fixing my timing. Next we're going to go on to is Ken Burns' effects.